Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have our final story from France this week, and it's not it's not really a happy tale, I'm afraid to say. I may have worn out all of the happiness with the story of our son, and all of the wit and humor with the gardener and his landlord. So this story is, well, it's a story of impulse, really. This is The League of Rats. There was once a mouse who lived in terrible fear of a cat that had lain in wait watching for her. She was in great anxiety to know what she could do to escape the threatening danger. Being prudent and wise, she consulted her neighbor, a large and important rat. His lordship the rat had taken up his abode in a very good inn, and had boasted a hundred times that he had no fear for either Tomcat nor Shecat. Neither teeth nor claws caused him any anxious thought. "'Dear Mouse,' said this boaster, "'whatever I do, I cannot upon my word chase away this cat that threatens you without some help. But let me call together all the rats hereabouts, and I'll play him a sorry trick or two.' The mouse curtsied humbly her thanks, and the rat ran with speed to the headquarters, that is, to say the larder, where the rats were in the habit of assembling. Arriving out of breath and perturbed in mind, he found them making a great feast at the expense of their host. "'What ails you?' asked one of the feasters. "'Speak!' "'In two words,' answered he. The reason for my coming among you in this way is simply that it has become absolutely necessary to help the mice, for Grimalkin is abroad making terrible slaughter among them. This, the most devilish of cats, will, when she has no mice left, turn her attention to the eating of rats. He says what is true, cried they all. To arms, to arms! To arms, to arms! To arms, to arms! Nothing could stem the tide of their impetuosity, although it is said a few she-rats shed tears. It was no matter. Everyone overhauled his equipment and filled his wallet with cheese. To risk life was the determination of all. They set off as if to a fete with happy minds and joyful hearts. Alas for the mouse, these warriors were a moment too late. The cat had her already by the head. Advancing at the double, the rats ran to the succor of their good little friend, but the cat swore and stalked away in front of the enemy, having no intention of surrendering her prey. At the sound of the cat's defiance, the prudent rats, fearing ill fate, beat a safe retreat, without carrying any further their intended onslaught. Each ran to his hole, and whenever they ventured out again, it was always with the utmost caution to avoid the cat. And that is the League of Rats. As someone who lives with a cat, I can absolutely see every moment of this encounter happening. Absolutely. This is Dan Schultz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next week we'll be back and we'll be restarting Rutabaga Stories. As always, thank you so much for listening.